Hello and welcome to my new home gym. I am so excited to show you around today because this gym has really developed because of my newfound passion and love for the gym and for working out and for health and fitness. So today is a really special day for me. I'm super excited to be taking you around. Let's go. First off, I'm gonna take you around my new equipment. Now, I have invested in the Peloton world and the Peloton life. I personally don't use the Peloton bike, my husband does that, but I definitely use the treadmill every day. Now, I love the Peloton treadmill. I think I would say that the only thing for me that's missing from the Peloton treadmill is the ability to actually watch my own YouTube on this massive screen. I love the massive screen, but you can only actually watch you know, the Peloton programs on that screen. So it's a fantastic screen if you love the Peloton working out and the Peloton way of life, which I do, but I do think I would have loved, you know, to be able to watch other things on that big screen. Otherwise, I love the treadmill and my husband loves the bike. The other thing I love about my gym is my step machine. I think they now call it a cross trainer or they always did. But anyway, I love my step machine. I haven't changed it. I've had it for ages. It's a pro form machine. It does exactly what I need it to do. I'm only on here for 10 minutes, but I do love it. And it's my third machine. I always think it's really important to, if you can only keep the machines that you really use. We did at one point have a rower, which I got rid of because we weren't using. And I think, you know, just keeping those machines down to a minimum means that actually you will use every single thing in here. Our home gym is actually in the basement of our home, but I still really want it to feel natural and green. And so I have gone overboard with the green in here and it makes me very, very happy. And it really does make me feel like we've pulled through just nature in every way. So I have, you know, green all around. It's all faux greenery, like I said, because we are in the basement, but I love that feeling of it. It inspires me, it makes me feel like I'm in the outdoors, even though I'm in a basement, and it's a great feeling and definitely pushes me to work out that little bit harder. Okay, so I personally don't just love to go to the gym, but I love to go to the gym very, very early. And when I wake up very early in the morning, I wanna feel very relaxed before feeling invigorated. And so my kind of way of doing that is making my gym feel really spa-like instead of just invigorating. So what I wanted to do other than the nature and the rattan lights overhead and you know all of the greenery around was actually to pull in some spa-like sensations. And so I have this stunning candle and diffuser that I was gifted by Jo Malone. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's in this really stunning new packaging. I have fallen in love with it. I can smell it literally two rooms away. It's beyond beautiful. I will link what the scent is in the box below. And I guess just my other tip really for making your gym feel more spa-like and more like a gym is, you know, really to dot around all of your towels, small hand towels, bigger towels, just so that you get that kind of spa gym sensation. So it was really important to me when buying everything for the gym, that if I could, I'd buy beautiful things, things that made me feel like I really wanted to work out, things that inspired me to work out. And I have found the most stunning supplier of gym equipment. I am so grateful that I found them. I've been looking for a very, very long time for beautiful gym equipment because most of it, frankly, is black, plastic, and not very good looking. And this is it right here. You can see how stunning it is. The dumbbells, are made with this stunning wood veneer contrasting with this gorgeous stainless steel on the outside really really special piece every piece in here is special i've got these medicine balls they are literally made in stitched leather with this really lovely black panel in the middle then we've got the kettlebells at the bottom again with this really gorgeous timber veneer and the stainless steel on the outside I actually took this as a whole set. I wanted everything in there because it was absolutely fantastic. I've also got these really stunning mats just underneath me, which you will see me working out on very, very soon. And I'm just so thrilled. I mean, I've never seen more beautiful mats and more beautiful equipment. So I am super grateful that they are mine. Thank you to Pent because they are uh, the incredible supplier and manufacturer. And I'm very, very lucky to have all of this in my own home. Just while I'm here, I'm gonna point out all of the wood fluting that goes throughout this gym space. 
I needed to create something different and I didn't want to just do mirrors everywhere, although there are lots of mirrors around, just creating that feeling of a larger space. But I also wanted to add in that kind of natural feeling. So what I've done is placed some fluted timber throughout. It does feel very natural, very nature inspired and orientated, and I absolutely love it. And just above me, you will see the gorgeous rattan light fittings that I've picked. I actually took out the lights. I didn't need those as light fittings, but I just wanted them to add this extra atmosphere and sort of movement within the space. I really love everything in here. The only thing I have not mentioned is my very, very cool Vaha. Many of you will not know what a Vaha is. I definitely did not. The Vaha is this great um, sort of mirror working out system, which sounds completely bizarre. But basically, if you don't have your trainer with you or you need to do an extra session here or there, or you don't indeed have a trainer, then it's a great way to be able to place a program on and actually work out with the mirror itself. And in the mirror, you can see yourself, but you can also see the person who's working out with you. Now, you can either do that on your own or you can do it with a personal trainer. I today have a very, very special surprise because I have brought in my very good friend and incredible woman, Paula from PBB, Paula's Body Bar. And she is actually going to do some training with me on the Vaha because this is the first time I'm ever going to use it. So I'm gonna need some help. And she's gonna work out with me on these gorgeous mats that we have from Pent Fitness and the really stunning array of equipment here. So hold on for this because it's gonna be fun. Bit of cardio today, no? Let's do some cardio. Okay. It's like a total fun. Let's just do a, an intermediate cardio session with this guy, Marcus, Marcus. <laughs> Very sweaty, 30 minutes, perfect. Okay, let's go. Flying pair of dumbbells. I'm gonna go for these ones. Okay. Low impact no workout. That's my kind of wo workout, okay, no jumping. Okay, we're going to Uh-huh. Here we go. Whoop. Here we go. Windscreen wiper. <laughs> so you're literally just following. And cows. Reach. Right. Okay, let's go on. But he's not really showing us how we, where we, what we do with our back. So let's go. One row. One lift. Row. Lift. <laughs> The hands close to the chest, the elbows to the upper body. Back down, do the side. Hands in, stay there. Oh, okay, let's down. go. Up, down. Reach. There we go, that's it. Ten more. One more, there we go. Just keep pushing forward. Keep pushing. But you know what to do. Pull the ribs in when you lift. Elbows in. Chest up. Let's go for the single lift. Lift the chest, lift the chest. Chest up. Open the chest more. So that was a great low impact workout, but my regular training is with PBB and with Paula. And lucky for you guys, she has just launched a brand new app. It's the PBB app, which has got all your favorite trainers, all your favorite PBB fusions. If you don't know what PBB is, it's a fusion of dynamic Pilates, bar, yoga. It's quite a low impact workout. We have got the added yoga workouts on there or routines, stretching and meditation and a little bit of yin yoga as well. So there is literally something for everyone. But it basically transforms your body completely in a very low impact way. Yeah. And I think in a way that today most people are looking for. You know, it's not just yeah. as high impact as you can get, you know, push, no. push, push, and hurt your bones and your body. Exactly. It's very much about looking after yourself and about really transforming the shape yeah. 
of your body through a very functional functional way so this okay. carries you through throughout your life you can do this in your 30s 40s 50s i'm 52 nearly 60s yeah. we've got women that are still there when they're 75 pbb is literally for everybody we create happy strong functional mobile bodies so the link to pbb's new online sessions is going to be down below and if you want to try them out please do go for it they are incredible i'm very lucky because paula is also my friend but if you can only do the online sessions then do them they there are classes in we've fulham got, we've got classes in my studio in fulham and we have 21 classes in kxu in chelsea yeah. if you're a member at the south kensington club skc we also have 10 classes there a week but if if you're not living in those areas or you can't have access to those actual classes then the online is unbelievable thank you no okay well see you guys soon and if you are lucky you might even get a pbb session with me and paula next week so oh, stay tuned <laughs> see you soon thank you everybody so much for watching my health and fitness journey was really important to me throughout covid and i am super super lucky because it stayed with me and I've been able to kind of maintain that even after lockdown and COVID and it's become really a part of my life. It inspires me to do better and feel better mentally and physically every day. So if there is anything I can do to inspire you or if there are any ways in which you guys think you can inspire others to do more working out and to be healthier and fitter, then please do leave a comment in the box. I will read them. I would love to know um, if you've got any inspirational tricks for us to keep going and to keep pushing ourselves and do keep going. And in the meantime, if you haven't already, please subscribe.